Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I thought we would sit down, apply a full face of makeup. I'd say 90% of which I've never tried before, so kind of like a first impressions, like a full face first impressions, but not quite, and talk about my experience within retail. Now, I'm sure a lot of us have had a job in retail at some point of our lives, and we've had funny stories that we've come home with, like, you would not believe, la 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 la. And yeah, my first proper job was in retail, working in a supermarket, so I thought we'd just talk about some funny stories that I have logged and that we still bring up today as like jokes in my family of Jerimba when. So yeah, if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, just a bit of a story time, bit of a funny time applying some new products that I've got that I've never tried out before, then this is the video for you. And if you're new here, hello, welcome, my name is Meg and I like to talk about all the superficial things in life. The things that bring me joy, they don't really matter, they're not the big topic issues, but they make me happy and get me through the everyday grind that can be life. We talk about all the things makeup, skincare, hair care, fashion and homeware, so if any of those things appeal to you then please hit subscribe and join my family join my circle of trust and let's get straight into this i'm zooming you in on the face i've actually had these nails not nails on because they're my real nails but these nails have been painted for two weeks and they've only just started chipping i think that's really impressive it's the barry m where is it it's in front of me somewhere here we go it's barry m jelly high shine nail paint in matcha i really really like it is it focusing on me or the nail polish who knows but i really really like it it's pretty. Okay, so I have 30 stories or 30 things that I was gonna say. I might just bring up like 15 of them. And if you like this thing, then I can do it again with the rest of the stories. But I'll try and pick out a few of the best ones as we go. Um, I'm gonna go into the Fourth Ray Beauty First Aid Hydrating Primer Moisturizer. Bit of A bit of dual priming and moisturization. I'm not going anywhere today, but I wanna feel pretty and I wanna talk. So the first thing on my list, <laughs> So I worked in a supermarket, just, just to put this out here, I worked, I really like this applicator. I worked in a supermarket and I worked there for a, a few years, I'd say maybe like three years I think it was, um, before I worked in the current job that I'm in now. And I've been working in the current job I've, I'm in now for the past five years. So I've been here for a while. So all these things happened when I was about 17 to 19 yeah like around that sort of age gap and in my time i had three roles i worked on checkout i also worked on customer service and then i worked in like the like the money side like the finance team and the commercial team that sort of thing so i feel like i've got a very interesting experience of like the business and how i was treated by customers and things like that so the first story was um basically a person came to the customer service desk and put out this multi-packet of crisps packet on the desk and i was like yeah hi how can i help you and they were like oh yeah we didn't enjoy these these were really disgusting so at which point i'm expecting them to pull out you know say, say it's like a 24 packet packet of crisps or something i'm expecting them to pull out 20 packets of crisps because they thought they were disgusting maybe eight four packets and were like these are gross i don't want them anymore like they're they're minging which is fair enough but there were no crisps so they'd eaten like 24 packets of crisps to then decide that they didn't like them so wanted a, a refund and i was like well what am i refunding and this lady was really annoyed with me because i wouldn't refund her the packet of crisps so i said well there's no crisps here like what what am i supposed to do what am i refunding you you've eaten all of them you've eaten all of them so uh yeah that lady was not happy with me that day but uh you know it's like literally buying a banana eating the entire banana and going that's gross i don't want it can i return this and giving me like the skin well, what am I supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to do with that information? This is a really nice primer. It's very thick, very moisturising and very thick. I like it. It also smells really, really good. For foundation, I'm going to go into the number seven Protect and Perfect Advanced All-in-One Foundation. I really love the Hydroluminous or the Hydro Hydroluminous Foundation. I think that's what it's called. Um, I've got mine in the shade Calico. Um, I've never tried this before. I have swatched it just to make sure it was the right shade. That's spat everywhere love that for me but i really liked that foundation so i'm hoping i like this one too i do like number seven foundations they do actually they are they are quite nice so yeah when you're dealing with the general public anything can happen like anything can happen i think if you've ever worked in retail you'll know exactly what i mean by that just the general public are the worst 
<laughs> because you can get some really really nice people and then you'll get like the worst customer and they ruin your day and they think that they're entitled to basically tell you how life is and I'm like excuse me I'm on like six pounds an hour um I don't really want to be here um I'm gonna work a 10 hour shift a day for 60 pounds and um then I get taxed on that so I only really take home like 45 pounds and um for 45 quid a day like you're talking you no, like don't talk to me like that so I feel like if you've ever worked in retail you completely get that you don't have to work in a supermarket to understand that people customers I mean they pay your wage but like they're the worst. Which comes to my second story about a lady that came to me, a lot of these were from like a customer service desk because I was customer facing. Um, so yeah, a lot of these stories are about the customer service desk, which, which are more like entertaining in my personal opinion. This lady came to the desk with a bottle of Schweppes and another bottle of Schweppes and she was like, they've changed their packaging. So Schweppes the lemonade. And I was like, okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> and uh, I was like, oh yeah, yeah they have. And she was like, why do they keep changing the packaging? And this lady was getting aggressive at me. I would say she was maybe late 40s, early 50s um, at that point. Yeah, like I'd say roughly about that age, maybe early 50s actually. So I was like, okay. Um, I'm trying to be polite, of course. Like I, even when people were rude to me in retail, I was always so polite. Sometimes when people were really rude at me, like really, really aggressively rude, I was then overly nice. Like I was never, I never sunk down to their level. But if they were really horrible to me, I'd be like sweetly, like sickly sweet. Like, oh, that's fine. Yeah, no worries. Of course I'm willing to help. Even if they were like, rah, 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 rah. because why should I put myself in a bad mood and lower myself to that level? Like, no, you know, you're gonna be rude. I'm gonna be really sickly sweet to you. Um, and yeah, this lady like slams these two bottles of lemonade onto the counter. She's like, I want you to tell Schweppes that they need to stop changing their packaging. It's confusing for customers. And I was like, well, unfortunately, I was like, I'm really sorry, but unfortunately we don't, we don't have any control over a brand and their labeling. She's like, well, then you've got to stop stocking them. And I was like, well, I'm like not in control of that. If you want to go to our head office, here's the number. This isn't something I deal with. And she was like, this is the problem with all you people. It's never your problem. Can we just like go back to when I was like, yeah, I earn six pounds an hour. Like what, what do you want me to do? Ring up Schweppes and be like, one of our customers came in and she didn't like your packaging and how much you change it all the time. So we're not gonna stock you anymore. And I wanna make that decision for all of the companies, like all of the, the, the stores across the nation. That's my decision on six pounds an hour. That is my decision. Honestly, some people are just absolutely off their rocker so I, I i don't know why but i ended up like apologizing to this lady like i'm really sorry that it's confusing for you and sometimes like it's just easier to agree with them and just be like mm, yeah i'm really yeah i agree like i'm really sorry so i was like yeah like you've got to take it up at the head office because they're the people that stock our stores like i have no control over that to which she's like i want to speak to a manager when you work in retail unless you have an issue where they clearly don't know how to deal with it please don't ask for a manager because I can guarantee nine out of ten times the manager will just back their staff and agree with them so there's no point and all it does is just piss you off and delay you leaving like if I say that you can't do something and I've worked in this store I'm pretty sure that my manager's gonna say the same thing because I'm abiding by the rules I'm not just making up on the fly you know that's oh it happened all the time it's so frustrating especially when they're like I want to speak to your manager and then your manager comes in they're like oh so what's the problem and then they were like, da, 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 da. sorry, my camera died. I don't know where I was at. But basically, it's really annoying when people ask for the manager and you're like, yeah, they're gonna say the same thing as me. But yeah, this lady was so adamant that she wanted Schweppes out of our stores. She was like, nope, they changed their packaging too often. And I'm like, lady, just pick another brand of lemonade if it bothers you that much. Jeez. It's just some people are phenomenal phenomenal something like those sorts of things just made our day and we would never stop talking about it It'd be like do you remember that time when the lady thought that we were really like it actually in control of those decisions it's crazy i'm gonna go into the nyx born to glow concealer the radiant creamy concealer in the shade uh light ivory i really like this concealer it's not a new one but it's a good old reliable. So this one is actually uh, like a second hand experience in terms of like, I knew the story and I was there at the time. But this wasn't a story that actually happened to me. So this actually happened to Jake. So Jake and I met through my first job um, through retail. We don't both don't work there anymore, but that's where we met. And um, this is a lot of concealer. Where, do I, where am I going? Um, 
And he came up to me and told me about this and pointed this lady out afterwards and we were just joking and giggling about it after work. Uh, this lady had come up to Jake on Christmas Eve. So the store was open Christmas Eve and obviously it shuts a little bit earlier because it's Christmas Eve and then it's shut for Christmas. And this lady came up to Jake and asking for a specific bottle of alcohol. Now this bottle of alcohol, that she, what am I doing? This is crazy. This specific bottle of alcohol that she wanted is kind of like only around during Christmas period. It was like a rare, not rare, but like it was a bottle of alcohol that we didn't stock very often. You know, like one of those, the sort of thing that they only have like a case of 20 and they don't buy anymore because otherwise then they'd never sell them. And this lady had come into the store and asked Jake if they had any in stock. And he was like, I'm really sorry, but we don't. Um, and she said to Jake, I spoke to you last year. This is the second Christmas on a trot that you've never had this on stock. You've ruined my Christmas. <laughs> and Jake was like, well, I'm really sorry. Um, not a lot I can do. And obviously he was like apologetic and really kind and calm to the customer too. He was saying to me afterwards, and I remember him saying, who comes in a Christmas Eve two years on the trot and expects something to be there? Like, if it's that important to you, to the point where it's gonna ruin your Christmas, that you haven't got this bottle of alcohol, come in earlier, come in earlier. And so he was telling the lady, he was like, I'm really sorry, but there's nothing we can do. You know, you can try online. And he was like, you know, getting like Amazon up for her and things like that and showing her that she could order it here. And she didn't want to do that because she wanted to pick it up with her shopping that she was getting. She's like, I always do this shop on Christmas Eve and it's never in stock. And so Jake was like, well, I'm sorry, but stop doing your shop on Christmas Eve then. Maybe find the time when you do another shop to pick up beforehand. And he was really helpful with her and said, well, he tried to be helpful. And we're saying, you know, um, we get it on stock usually around this date, like in November time. So you can definitely pick it up and have it in your cupboard waiting. It might be that there's even one more bottle on the stock so you can have two bottles. And he was trying to be as helpful as possible. And this lady was not having it to the point where I think she actually did raise a complaint, um, not necessarily against him, but against the store. Um, and Jake was like a team leader. So he got to hear like the news and things um, like any complaints that had been logged and just, you know, how to manage the team better and just things like that, things to look out for. So, um, oh my goodness. It's just some people are crazy. Like that's like literally coming in Christmas Eve and being like, there's no turkeys. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's because everyone wants one and you came in the day before. Just some people are nuts. Um, so yeah, she, she was like proper having a go at Jake and I mean, I know it irritated him because he said something. Nine out of 10 times, like Jake isn't the sort of person to say a lot. Like he was very, he's a very quiet person as it is. And at work, he came in, got his job done and went home. He didn't like, he didn't really socialize with people. Still doesn't, doesn't, didn't really socialize with a lot of people. He just had a few friends and that was about it. So I know when he repeats something, like when he repeats a story that like a little part of him got really annoyed by that because if it was just funny, he wouldn't have repeated it. So I just, yeah, some people are just, I don't know what people expect. I literally don't know what people expect. I'm gonna go into a controversial product, but um, I got the Jeffree Star Magic Star Loose Powder in Fair. Um, I thought I'd just save it for one of these videos where I'm not really featuring the products too much. I did buy it, you know, and I bought it maybe the beginning of the year, maybe end of last year actually, and it's just been sitting in the box. So there's no point in going to waste and I did really want to try it. This is the luminous version. So my next story um, is a funny one because this I feel like is, you know when you have certain stories of just like jobs and just things that have happened and you just like joke about them. Me and my mum joke about this all the time. Or like, not necessarily joke, but like we bring this up quite often when things like certain things happen, especially with like, like I said, the general, oh, this smells really nice, um, with the general public and stuff. So I was working on the customer service desk one day and it was a Sunday and I distinctly remember this because on a Sunday the store shut at four o'clock. So um, the tills literally manually went off after 4.30. So we had to push the last customers through the till at four. Otherwise, you know, like they wouldn't be able to purchase their stuff and it would be just a little bit chaotic. So I remember it being a Sunday. It was like, you know, nearly four o'clock. And I think it's about half 
three at the time, half three, quarter to four, and I had just done the first announcement on the tannoy, and it went a little bit like, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'd just like to announce that the store will be closing in half an hour at 4 p.m. today. Da -da 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 -da. You know, please, please finalize your purchases and make your way to the checkout, that sort of thing. So anyway, it's like half three, quarter to four, and I'm preparing to sort of like cash up my till. I've just started like a half three, I used to, you know, half an hour before the end of the day. I used to just go through my returns cupboard, sort out clothing from like just unwanted items to broken things so they could be sent off to the correct departments to be dealt with um, correctly. So I was just sorting that out and a lady comes up behind me and comes to the desk and I recognize her because she is the mother of someone I went to school with and someone I went to college with and I'd been around this girl's house so the mother knew me like the mother knew me um but she like says hello like she doesn't know me so then I think oh maybe she's forgotten my name or something it's fine um I'm not expecting everyone to know me it, it's cool <laughs> she was like hi I know you're about to shut soon but can I still return something and I was like yeah yeah that's fine we still have time you can be my last one of the day trying to be all cheerful like haha and she's like oh brilliant so she gets out of this carrier bag, this item of clothing, and she's like, oh, so I tried it on and I just don't really like it on me. It doesn't fit very well. I'd like to return it, please. And I was like, no problem. So I'm like looking at this item. And the thing is, when you're working in a supermarket and you've worked there, you know, I was the sort of person that worked like six day weeks or I'd do overtime all the time because the pay was... I mean, the pay wasn't great. Like, let's be honest, you're in retail pay isn't fabulous. It's one of those things where it can definitely help you pay the bills, but if you want anything more in life, like, you have to work overtime. And I was trying to save for, like, holidays and things like that, and I just wanted a bit more savings. So I was doing loads of overtime at the time. So I kind of... When you do that, you kind of get to grips with every single item that's in the store. I know that sounds crazy, but you definitely get attuned to what you sell in that shop. And I'm talking like thousands and thousands of items. You know if you've seen that product before and if you haven't. So I opened this bag and that was a lot of powder, but actually my skin looks really good. So dare I say it, that's a nice one. Um, so yeah, I opened this, this bag and I look at this item of clothing and I think, don't recognize this at all really like I really don't recognize this item of clothing but you know it happens where I might have just not seen it or it might have only had a set couple of them or it might have been collaboration I'm gonna go into the physician's formula butter bronzer not new but just a good reliable product I want to see how it works and meshes with the base um so I'm like oh don't recognize this and I don't say anything and I said to her have you got a receipt at all? And she was like, no, I don't have a receipt. So then I'm try trying to search for the label. And I said to her, and as I'm searching for the label, because it's like a big, it's like a dress or something. So as I'm searching for this label, like in this dress, you know, I'm like trying to lift up the dress and find the label. I said, as you don't have a receipt, I can only give you back a refund of what it goes through the till as. And she's like, yeah, that's fine. So as I'm having that conversation, you know, like literally 30 seconds, I find the label and it says peacocks on it. And I was like, what? So. I don't embarrass the lady because I think like sometimes it can be embarrassing you think you feel like a complete idiot and I get it so I didn't embarrass her and I chose to ignore it and still scan it through the till anyway so I knew that it wouldn't scan because it was from peacocks and I didn't work in peacocks <laughs> um so I put it through the till and I was like oh it's denied and I and I deliberately made a conscious effort to go oh apologies I said this happens all the time I said it doesn't happen all, all the time. It had never happened before. I was like, this happens all the time. I was like, but I don't think you bought this from here. I said, um, I think you bought it from Peacocks. So obviously they're, they're the only people that will be able to return this for you. And I'm like doing a service with a smile and like, oh, never mind. Like, sorry about that. Whoopsie, we all make mistakes sort of thing. And her face turns to thunder and she's like, no, I bought it here. But you didn't. So I'm like looking at her with, and obviously my face is visibly confused at this point because I'm like, what, uh, huh? And I was like, oh, um, maybe you thought you had or you had something similar, but you definitely didn't buy it from here. I said, I didn't recognize it when you got it out of the bag, but I thought it was just something that I'd missed. I said, but looking at the label, it says peacocks. And, and I turned my screen around. This is back in the day when like, you could like manually turn the screen around. And I scanned it through and it said unrecognized barcode because it wasn't from the store. And she was like, well, your till's broken then. What do you say to people? Like, I don't, I don't, I didn't understand what she wanted from me. I was like, um, uh, <laughs> and I was like, I'm, I'm really sorry, but like, no, I can't, like, you didn't buy it from here. 
To which point she's like, this is ridiculous, this is terrible customer service, like full on shouting in my face. And was like, I want to speak to the manager. So on a Sunday, the managers are stressed enough because it's the end of a financial week. Like every week we have like mini end of financial weeks. You know, they're looking at their rotors for the week ahead. So they've got, to, they're making sure they've got enough staff for the week ahead and things like that. And like, you know, fluctuations, if it's a bank holiday, things like that. They're looking at the weekend. So they're already busy on a Sunday as well as trying to get customers through the till and pushing people through, um, you know, making sure that people on the shop floor are helping others that can't find products quickly so we can get them through the till by four o'clock. So I'm like, um, well, my manager's like really busy. I said, I can call her, but you might be waiting a while because she won't be able to come down straight away. And she was like, fine, fine. And I was like, okay, that's fine. So went on the tannoy and called her down to the customer service desk, to which point she rings me and she's like, Megan, I'm busy. And I'm like, yeah, I know you are. And I was like, and I wouldn't normally ring, but like this person, and this person's like literally this far away from me sort of thing. Well, not this far, but the camera's too big. Like she's less than a meter away from me. And she's like staring into my face. Bearing in mind, I know this lady. That's the most awkward part about this whole story. It's like, I know this lady. And um, I was like, yeah, I know I wouldn't usually ask, but um, this person's pretty adamant. <laughs> like, oh, help. <laughs> and uh, my manager, who I'll be honest with you, at the time, well, still, did not get along with her. We just didn't see eye to eye. I don't know what it was, but we, she didn't like me, which made me not like her. I'm gonna go into the Vive blush in Cherub. I tried out the Pesca on my full face first impressions and I really enjoyed it. So I thought I'd use Cherub today, a bit of a pinkier blush. Oh God damn. So yeah, you can imagine she already doesn't like me. So she's thinking for God's sake. So she comes down to the customer service desk and she's already a bit annoyed. Oh my God, that's pink. And she says to this lady like, hi, what's the problem? And this lady sort of like signals to me, like you could explain what's the problem. And I was like, okay like i'm ready for this and i was like hiya oh, yeah. so um this lady's just come to return this item to the desk and she's like right and i was like um and if you look at the label like she has no receipt so i was gonna do you know follow the process of putting it through the till and only returning what the till says and said and upon scanning through the till i realized that we don't sell this item here and she was like okay and i showed her the tag and i was like because we, we don't stock peacocks here and she's like yeah i know and i was like yeah, so, help. And my manager, for like, this is the only time she's ever had my back throughout the whole time I worked there. I did actually transfer to a different manager because I hated her that much. Like we just, she was just really horrible to me. And I'll get into like other stories about like how I just, she was really like nasty. Um, and yeah, she, she, this is the only time she ever had my back. She turned around and she was like, well, my colleague's absolutely correct. She was like, you cannot return this item to the store because you haven't bought it here to which the lady says i don't shop in peacocks like this isn't from here i definitely bought it from here i remember you're calling me a liar like that and then she was pointing to me going she's calling me a liar and i was like i'm getting paid six pounds an hour for this shit <laughs> i couldn't believe it and my manager was like no sorry you're wrong and she was like and she basically was just well, yeah, she was quite rude to her, but like she had to be, but she was forceful. She was forceful. I wouldn't say she was rude, she was forceful. And uh, she was like, no, you can't return it here. Like Megan is absolutely correct and you cannot. So good day. And she just walked off and I was like, I'm gonna close the store now, bye, like that. And she was like, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna file a complaint. And I said, okay. And like at which point I was like, okay, that's up to you. You can file a complaint. So the next day I walk into work, cause yes, when you're in retail, there's no such thing as a weekend. <laughs> I walk into work the next day and I get pulled into the office by the store manager or the assistant store manager. And he was like, Megan, I'm really sorry to say, but you've had a customer complaint. And I burst, I mean, probably not the best reaction, but I burst into laughter. And he like looked at me as if to say like, this isn't funny. And I said, before you tell me, I said, was it a lady called X and was it about that she couldn't return an item? And he went, well, it says that you refused to return her item and made a joke out of her. And I was like, what? <laughs> and then I said, well, I can confirm that isn't true. And I said, you can go speak to my manager, name X, insert here. And uh, and I was like, to confirm that. And he was like, oh, was it that customer yesterday? Um, you know, your manager told me about it and that it was awkward for you. And I was like, yeah, that was the one. He was like, oh, I went, <laughs> I was like, 
exactly so um yeah that was awkward because i knew the lady i knew her daughter i've been around her house for her birthday party birthday party we were in college it's like i knew you and you filed a complaint against me because you bought a dress in peacocks and then tried to return it into a supermarket like what is wrong with you and i think the funny thing is is me and my mum always bring this up by the way i'm gonna pick one of these highlighters i've got two pixie by petra glowy gossamer duos i've got one in delicate dew and one in subtle sunrise they're both slightly different I might swatch them both for you we both bring up and we're like do you remember that time i had a complaint because someone bought an item from peacocks and basically refused to believe that they'd bought it from peacocks even though the label was from peacocks um oh i love the packaging on these these are really cute um yeah we talk about it all the time and how my mum my always says she was like there's one thing to continue at the desk because you might be embarrassed and you'll be like, uh, I need to follow through with it now. Like I can't, I can't go back on myself because I look stupid. But there's another to do that, walk out of the store and then file a formal complaint. I couldn't believe it. I mean, I could, but I couldn't believe it. And you better believe I told my best friend, Lily, the next day. And I was like, you know, so-and-so's mum. And she was like, yeah. And I was like, well, she came into the store yesterday. Those highlighters are really pretty. Not too metallic, but like really glossy, really nice. I think I might go for a mix of these two, which is actually the lighter two of both the palettes, but I'm gonna do a little bit of a mix, I think. But yeah, I was like to Lily, I was like, do you remember? I was like, so-and-so's mum came in the store and this is what happened. And, my mom, and Lily was like, what? And I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> Honestly, some people are incredible, but it's not all bad. I once had an elderly lady and I don't want to assume but i'm going to assume that she there's like something was going like something the lights were on but no one was quite at home you know uh and she came into the store came into the customer service desk a lot of my stories are from customer service desk and uh she just presented me this tin foil and she was like open it and i was like okay and i was like how can i help you she's like well i bought these aunt bessie roasted potatoes from the frozen section and open it and i was like oh no what am i gonna open is it gonna be like a dead mouse or something really freaky like is it gonna be something weird you know like oh i don't know if i fancy that and so i'm like hesitant but i just open it because at this point like working in retail you get to the point where you just like <laughs> you lose the ability to really question things sometimes because you're just like every day every day is something different so you just gotta go in head forward and just be prepared for it and so I open it and there's just this cooked potato in this foil. And I was like, right, yeah. And she was like, yeah. And I was like, so w were they bad? Like what? Like basically in my head thinking, why have you come all the way into the shop to give me a cooked roast potato wrapped in tin foil? And I was like, so did you want a refund? She's like, no, no, they were lovely. And I was like, oh, okay, um, so, what, what do you want <laughs> and she was like just thought i'd show you and i was like oh okay thanks and she was like yeah highly recommend them and i was like okay and then she was just like i'll leave you with that if you want and walked away honestly <laughs> i remember my colleague on the till because it was like quite a busy day as well and i remember my colleague like on the next till because there was like two tills for the customer service desk on really busy occasions she looked at me and she was like what was that about and i said well i've just got this potato <laughs> i've just been given a roast potato and she was like why is there something wrong with it i was like nope she's like did you want a refund i was like nope just wanted to tell me that they were good so here they are some people man i really like that highlighter by the way it's like really nice and just nice on the skin it looks it look, yeah it looks really really nice i'm gonna go into the urban decay brow blade um and you get the ink stain and the pencil on either end um i'm probably just gonna do this off camera and come back because i can't talk and do my brows it's like a thing like i just i just can't do it okay so brows done i used that brow blade and then also put the anastasia beverly hills brow gel i feel like my brows are looking really good like they're a little bit thick but once we get the eye makeup on i feel like from far back i don't know are they looking a bit blocky because i feel like in real life they're looking quite like full but not blocky and that's the look i like i like a full brow but not blocky i think the, the only thing that makes it look blocky is like the front and sometimes with a little trick i just tap like the top 
corners of the brow just to make it not look so square. It's a very good tip. Don't like do it here so you have that definition. So for eyes, I wanted to try the Amrezy palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and obviously Amrezy collaboration. I hauled this in my Beauty Bay haul. It's so glittery and beautiful. Um, so I'll probably just point to shades whilst I do it instead of making this like a tutorial. I just want to put something nice on my eyes, like nice and pink. I feel like when I worked on like the checkouts, I had a lot of inter interaction with the customer. Um, but once you're like over the age of 18 and you can approve alcohol and things like that, you're allowed to go onto the, saying you're allowed, you go on the self scan um, because obviously like you can just sort that all out. So in the store I had at the time, there were eight, six or I think it was eight, eight self scan tills. Um, and this is, these are the days before click and go what's it called like scan and go whatever it's called um they were only just starting to phase them in into some stores but we didn't have it in the store that i worked in but they do now so yeah that wasn't there it was just self-scan that was the only thing if you didn't want to interact with another person and this i would say like he was an elderly man maybe like late 70s and um it was like late on i can't remember it was like a late evening basically in the evenings like after nine o'clock unless it's really busy normally only two tills are active of course this is to save money and there's no point two people sitting there on the company's time and money just sitting there they might as well be doing something so normally we had a self-scan open and one to two tills depending on how busy it was we'd have like two people available but one person would maybe be like tidying up all the tills like cleaning all the conveyor belts and closing them down properly for the next day whilst to the other person sat on the till waiting for any customers to come along the there's only one till active and there was someone who just started like loading all their shopping and it was like a big shop you know like a big deep trolley shop and this old guy comes up to me and he's got like some milk and bread like literally maybe three to five things i can't quite remember but like he had a few things and um the supervisor of the checkouts so if you haven't ever noticed there's like some supervisors that hover near the checkouts that are managing the flow of customers through tills and are there to direct customers to the the best till for them and suitable for their shop so the supervisors direct this gentleman to the self-scan because of course the one till that was there had like this whole conveyor belt of shopping and he had like a couple of things so it had been much faster for him and everyone else to just process him through the checkout self-checkouts to which he was like kind of i could gauge that he was kind of kicking off like i don't want to go through the self-checkouts i want to be served by a person i don't know how to do them um to which my supervisor was like megan will help you like she will help you and she'll just do it for you so you're effectively being served by a person but you just stand in a different area and he was like oh okay yeah i'm, I'm okay with that and like don't get me wrong i can like, i'm not going to be that person that's like get with the times but i can understand why some people don't like it so anyway i'm processing his items they're very polite with him and i'm like no it's fine i completely understand why you don't like the self-scan not a lot of people do it's okay but Today is a one-off and I'll process you through. You just stand there and I'll bag it all up for you. I'll put it through self-scan and you can just pay for it at the end sort of thing. Anyway, so this whole time, this guy is, you know when you just, you regret even, not you regret being nice. I never regret being nice, but I regretted entering in to any form of conversation. My God, this guy was ranting about how these self-scan tills were gonna take over the world and we would then have no jobs and this is how computers were taking over the world and how people were gonna be out of jobs and because of me, because I worked on self-service, I was endorsing that and I was like, well, I just I just get told to work where I'm told to work. Like I, I didn't build these self-scans, I didn't implement these into the building, you know. The, I'm just, I do what I'm told. Again, I work on like six man fifty an hour, please stop talking to me in that manner. Um, and so I'm like sort of laughing and like, yeah, well, you know, like they'll never take away people's jobs because people like me have to still man them. And he was like, people like you, you're like looking after these eight tills, that's eight people's jobs. And I remember saying to him, you know, well, even if these were eight separate tills, we wouldn't have eight people here working tonight. We'd still have three people working. It would just be that I'm on a till instead of self-scan. So it's not really taking away from people's jobs, to which he was so vexed that I had said that, that he then refused to pay for it on the self-scan. And this was like so frustrating because the whole time he'd gone along quite happily with 
the whole thing and I like I'd checked him through the whole process and I'd you know bagged up all of his shopping for him not all of it but there was like five things and then you know I'd put all the shopping in the bags for him and I said okay so I'll tap here would you like to pay by card or cash and he was like oh, I'm paid by cash and I was like okay that's fine I was like so just put the cash into the machine and I'll spit out like your change and he was like I don't trust it and I was like well like there's nothing to not trust it will do it it's been doing it all evening and if anything goes wrong I have a key and I will open up the machine and I'll give you the correct change and he was like well I just want you to do that now so this man instead of just putting the cash in the machine to then spit it out bearing in mind i'm still like there's still other people going through the checkouts that i'm having to like keep my like left eye on to make sure they're not stealing things and nothing's being processed properly so i'm like trying to deal with this customer as quickly as i could but in the politest way possible and he was like well i want you to open it up i don't want you to i don't i don't want to put my money in it and i was like well the machine's not going to steal your money it's going to give you exactly what it owes back and he was like but what if it doesn't like how do you reason with people like that so i was like oh sweet god so i said well i can't open it up right now because i have to have a dual there's a dual key to stop me being held at gunpoint basically to open up a till or like someone holding a knife not gunpoint but like it's to stop someone prodding a knife in my back and going open up that right now and pretend you're getting change out you know it, it's a safety thing it's safety for me and it's safety for the store and he was like, you said you could open it. And I was like, well, I can if a problem occurs. But so far, there's been no problem. So just like put your bloody money in the till and just get it done. Um, he wouldn't do it. So I then had to get off a receipt, which basically is a transaction. I don't know if you can still do it anymore, but you, you could when I worked there. It was a transaction, basically, that you could then scan the barcode and the whole transaction would appear on any other till. So I was like, fine, fine. You want to get checked out by a person? That's fine. I was like, after I've just spent ages with you. I like did this whole thing bearing in mind by the end of doing all this in this conversation the person that was on the actual conveyor belt has practically already checked out by now so then I took the receipt and I was like come to me over to the till and this person scanned the receipt and he is kicking off at this point he's like what was the point in all of this <laughs> like going absolutely crazy and I was like well you wouldn't put the cash in the bloody machine this would have been over 10 minutes ago if you just did what I bloody said um and then he checked out normally like through the conveyor belt in the end but my god you know when you're just like why are you making my life difficult why are you making my time at work a difficult one just do as i bloody say just one of those things where you know when you just think i am not paid enough to have this <gasps> i'm not paid enough so uh yeah self scans the joys of i tell you the joys of i also had trouble when i was on the tills themselves i once had this so so stupid but when you were well, not so stupid but basically if you've ever worked on a till before you'll know exactly what i mean when i'm about to say this but when you push a transaction through the till you like once you've closed the till again you can't reopen it until like you can't open it mid transaction if you're in the middle of a transaction you can't open it um you can only open it after transactions ended or halfway through like before you even start a new one to say that you're opening the till this is to protect people at the store from people stealing money and it's all to protect the person from giving wrong change it's just like you know when dealing with money you just have to have all these precautions in place <clears throat> anyway so um this guy comes through and i'd say he's like a guy in his maybe late 30s early 40s you know like at the time kind of like my dad's age and um he does like all this shopping and i give any pays in cash and i'd obviously missed a penny it was a single penny and as i close the till i've like it was one of those things that i close the till and i thought did i give him the correct change and I thought, well, it's a penny. So if he picks up on it, then he'll say something. But if not, then I can just reopen the till in a second. Or we can go like, you know, we can sort it out. But it wasn't like I'd shortchanged him a lot. Anyway, he comes back to me and he's like, hi, you shortchanged me a penny. And I thought, and I said, do you know what? I'm really sorry. I thought I did. But I didn't know if I did or not. But it was one of those things where it was like, oh, I couldn't remember. Then it's already in his hands. And I was like, oh, I don't know. And so he was like, yeah, yeah, you shortchanged me a penny. And I was like, I'm so sorry. And he was like, so what are you going to do about it? And I feel like it was one of those reactions where I was like, whoa i was not expecting that i was expecting him to say like so can i have my penny back <laughs> and um so i'm like oh well and i like go to the till i like type in my code and i i gave him the penny and he was like no 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 what am i going to get in terms of compensation dude, dude it, was, it was a penny like you, you can't get anything for a penny maybe like one penny sweet and i don't even think those exist anymore um so i was like um what <laughs> and he's like what am i going to get in terms of compensation and i said well, well here's your penny uh apologies that i shortchanged you like that was a genuine mistake i didn't mean to uh but thank you for picking up i didn't know if i had or not here's your penny back and he's like no i want a gift voucher for being inconvenienced and i was like inconvenienced 
like what <laughs> and he was like yeah no I, I want I want a gift voucher for being inconvenienced and he picked up a 50 pounds gift voucher for the store and was like this is what I want for being inconvenienced to which I remember not laughing but smirking thinking like is this guy like is this guy serious it's like Don Jolly about to peer out and be like I'm on the phone and like you've been punked I was genuinely like what and I was like uh I I'm really sorry but no I, I I literally cannot do that I was like I'm really sorry if you feel like you've been inconvenienced and you know I apologize again I didn't mean to um but it's a penny so here's your penny go about your day I'm gonna go back into New Yorker and OG yeah so uh that, that was another thing that was that was fun that was fun and just some people are so entitled and you just kind of like look at it and you're like what you know just like, if that happened to me i'd be like oh no worries and maybe i'm just i don't know maybe i'm just super friendly maybe i'm just super friendly but that wouldn't bother me do you know for a penny i wouldn't even bother going back and i've been like oh they short change me a penny whatever like whatever um but obviously he was entitled to it it was his money technically so uh he was entitled to it but at what point did he think he was then entitled to £49.99 more of gift voucher? I couldn't believe it. I've practically done the eyes. I think I'm just going to go finally into this like shade here and just touch that on the brow bone. There was one time when I had to work in the cafe. So there was a cafe in the supermarket that I worked in. Um, and I didn't like, I never really worked in there as in like it was never my job role. But sometimes it was just like busy in certain areas and I really enjoyed being trained in certain areas so that I could, or multiple areas, so that I could like hop off and do different jobs. I really loved being rotated around and not just sitting at a till all day. I hated that so much. So if I could be trained and do different things, then I really wanted to do that. So I was um, trained in the kitchen, not for cooking, but for just like <laughs> trained in cleaning dishes, but like how to use machinery, clean dishes, and how to serve tables and just things like that. So um, I did that and the cafe one day really needed help. So I was like, oh, I'll go out and help because get me off this bloody till. Um, I'll go out and help. So I went to help them and it was like the breakfast time. It was around like, I don't know, like 10, 10 o'clock and I'd been at work for like a couple of hours. Um, by the way, this eyeshadow is like so lovely. It's just, it was so easy and effortless. Like if I wasn't talking, that would have been done in literally like two minutes. And like, look at it. It looks like I've spent ages on it, but it's, oh, it's so sparkly. Can you see it? It's so nice. That barb shade. I feel like it's not picking up on camera, but in real life, it's so sparkly. Like, woo. So yeah, it's like 10, maybe half 10, 11, like that sort of time before the lunchtime rush or before the menu changed. And this guy comes in and he orders a breakfast and like obviously we have a menu as well or we had a menu rather i'm speaking like i still work there we had a menu and he's like oh i really want this please so i'm like okay that's fine is there anything else you'd like with that you know da, 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 and that's it so you know i go out and then i don't know 15 minutes later i'm just doing my job and then 15 minutes later or something like that um i see the order and i'm like oh that's the guy i just served i'll go take it to his table so i take this breakfast to his table and he said oh i think you've got the wrong order and I remember thinking, nope, nope, I distinctly remember taking this order from you and I remember asking if you wanted anything else and, you know, you said no. Um, and he was like, no, you've got the wrong order. This isn't the breakfast I ordered. So I pick up his order, like, so we had, like, receipts and stuff. And I said, well, you know, like, I don't know what it was, like, table nine or table eight, I don't know. This is your table, this is what you ordered. And he was like, yeah, that's what I ordered. And I was like, yeah, that's this. And he was like, that doesn't look like the picture. And I'm like, what picture? <laughs> By the way, I forgot to mention, this is the Iconic uh, Triple Threat Mascara. It's okay, it's like pretty clumpy. I'm waiting for it to dry out a bit. I wish the prongs were a bit more defined because it gets a little bit clumpy clump. So I look at him and I'm like, oh, sorry, what picture are you referring to? And he opens up the menu and he points to the breakfast. And then like that breakfast in like the writing underneath is like the supreme breakfast or something where it has like three sausages, da 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 da. And I was like, oh no, this, and I said, I pointed and I said, this breakfast is like more money because it comes with more things. And I said in the menu, and in the menu it did detail that, like, you know, you go for the standard breakfast, it lists what's included in that standard breakfast. You go to the, the big daddy breakfast and it explains what's in there and you go for the mega breakfast and it explains what's there. And of course, a menu being a menu, you, you know, like for marketing reasons, you want to take the picture of the best thing that you can buy he didn't understand that and he was like well there shouldn't be a picture of something that isn't for sale and i was like it is for sale it's just not what you bought and i basically said to him 
if you want you can pay the difference and I'll go back and we'll add the things are missing to the plate um, and we'll keep your food warm so it won't go cold we'll keep your food warm under the heat warm lamp thing and we can add to your meal to which point he's just like fuming he's just fuming and he's like no I've waited long enough and I'm thinking you've waited like 10 minutes please keep your pants on you've literally waited 10 minutes it was a pretty fast you know I remember it being fast which is why I offered to go serve the same guy because so I was like oh yeah I served him like two minutes ago I'll go do that and um he was like no I don't want it now I'm not even hungry and I was like what uh, well this is like you've ordered it in my head I'm thinking either you want more or you don't so just eat it if you don't want more you know you like you've paid for what you've got but he obviously thought that he'd paid for more than what he got which may I add you know was a substantial breakfast <laughs> also just like read the description you know um and I also relayed back to him what he got in that order so god knows where he was when I said that maybe it was that the monkeys were clapping with the symbols in his head when I was talking um which you know it happens <laughs> so yeah oh damn I've got a scar on my cheek yeah he just literally got up and left and his whole breakfast was just sitting there and I was like but you've paid for it so what's the point you're trying to make <laughs> he'd literally got up and he was like i don't even want it anymore and there's like a paid breakfast just sitting there and just chilling so that was interesting some people are weird i tell you some people are weird i was gonna apply some lashes and do i want to do i want to i think i will i've got here these kiss lashes i've used them multiple times before so it's not first impressions but these are the natural flourishing blooming lashes I'm just trying to like get through some of my lashes, you know, like wear them, enjoy them, and then depart with them so that I can have a refined collection and only buy really decent lashes from now on. So um, I'm not going to do this on camera because I really struggle putting lashes on on camera. I like like to get really close to the mirror and stuff. So I'll be right back. Okay, I put the lashes on. I really try to mesh them in, but because they're getting slightly older, I was going to pick up the packaging, but why would you care about that? Um, because they're getting slightly older the inner corners start popping off i've noticed that about like older lashes when they start getting a bit older they start to just pop off a little bit because the curve of them is just turns flat so i reckon I have like two more wears out of these and then they are done done son but it's really pretty i like wearing lashes every now and again it makes me feel really girly so um i look really shadowy in my camera i'm sorry so this is vive in brat this is actually so embarrassing, I can't believe I'm actually doing this online. Um, but I have these lip glosses I bought from Fenty Beauty at Christmas time. Embarrassingly so, these were from Christmas, I think 2019. Maybe they're 2020 Christmas. I really hope they're 2020 Christmas. Maybe they're 2020 Christmas. I don't know. I don't I think they're no, no, they must be. No, they must be 2020 Christmas. No, they, they were, they were, okay stop <laughs> so i've got the brat the vive brat instead i was going to apply a lipstick on but actually i'm just going to go straight over with one of these glosses because i've been meaning to include it in one of these videos where i like try them out on camera i don't know why but i just felt like i needed to because i feel like i need to show anything new on camera so there's baby brute taffy teas cake shake and ruby milk i think ruby milk is gonna be a bit too deep because i've got too much pink going on i really want to go for this one or this one let's go for baby brute this looks pretty okay i love it i love fenty's glosses as well Ooh, good choice and that is it Ooh, that was a good choice that is a good choice i have actually got a new setting spray so i'm just gonna use my nyx dewy finish uh long lasting setting spray just haven't used this in a while so let's use that oh okay I like it. I like it a lot. So I don't know if you actually saw my full face to first impressions um, that I recently tried of things that I hauled in my cult beauty and beauty bay haul. I'll link it up in the eye if you haven't seen that. But that was like a total disaster. Like spoilers. That was a total disaster. Today, I'm feeling myself. I might even film another video just because I feel so cute. Like I feel really casual in my, if I just put lipstick on my shirt, possibly. I feel really casual with just my t-shirt and my cycling shorts I'm currently wearing, cute little pigtails and like a full beat of makeup. I feel so cute, I love it. Very speedy run through, really liked this primer, I think I'm going to really like it from now on. It was like nice and thick but also hydrating. The palette was a win, a little bit like Modern Renaissance, I'm not going to lie, like it is 
pretty similar. It's like I'd say a newer version of Modern Renaissance. Um, so if you like that sort of thing, I think you're going to like this palette. I really can't wait to play around with it again. I love pinky tones. I think they're really nice, like rose tones, things like that. Really, really nice. So I like this palette. No regrets there. Um, obviously, the lashes aren't new. The Jeffree Star Powder. Yes, I want to say his name. Lord have mercy on me. Um, actually, I've got to say, I really like this powder. Of course, I know a lot of you get a little bit... Um, I'm, I was trying to be nice and I wasn't going to say knickers and twist but I want to say knickers and a twist about using his products because he's not like a great person like yeah okay we, we get it he's not a great person but I do enjoy his makeup so I'll probably use this um but maybe not so much on camera uh the Vive lip liner I really like the Vive products I think they're nice not nothing special like you don't have to I don't think that they're the best in my collection but they are nice you won't be disappointed um butter bronzer wasn't new iconic triple threat mascara wasn't new however don't recommend it i think it's very clumpy and wet and the prongs aren't long enough to get definition so i'll be happy when it's done um urban decay brow blade wasn't new and neither was the anastasia Beverly hills <laughs> brow gel that wasn't new but i really like them nyx wasn't new really like this concealer one of my favorite concealers um obviously this wasn't new either <laughs> did i try out anything new but the new things were this fenty beauty baby brute lip gloss love this absolutely love this hopefully she comes out with a full size of some of these that's why i bought the mini pack is that she hasn't got full sizes of any of those and i wanted them all for my collection which is here where's that on the camera oh like you can just about see it yeah i really, really like them i love the fenty glosses they're my favorite formula um the two highlighters the pixie by petra i think they're really pretty like it's really beaming on camera but in real life it looks so natural like it's just melted into my skin beautifully uh the vive blushes i really do like the vive formula or the vive blush formula i think it's really pretty it goes onto the cheeks nicely i really, really like them hopefully she comes out with more shades she's already got quite a few i think i might pick up there's another one like a really orangey one and i forgot what it's called but i think i might pick that one up too because it's really pretty like this is a pink blush done well i think i really really like it the foundation as well by number seven the protect and perfect advanced all-in-one foundation really like it my skin is looking really good let me get closer this is my face guys this is my face i really like it like look between my eyebrows where it normally gets really cakey <gasps> mm. It's looking really good. I like it. I like everything today. What a success. Yes. So that was kind of like a first impressions of a couple of those products. I kind of did half first impressions, half good old reliables. Um, and I'd recommend everything that I tried today. I feel like really, really pretty. Um, and everything meshed well together. I really, I really like everything on my face. It's a good, it's a good makeup day. It's a good makeup day. And of course, those were just some of my stories. So I've got them all on my phone. I was typing them all away. Those were literally not even a third of my stories. I have so many more. And some of them are really funny. I feel like I didn't get through like half of these. Oh, and one of them is really scary. Oh no, I had so many. I think if I continue and said any more stories, we would be here for a little bit too long. So if you've enjoyed today's video, let me know because I do have loads of products still that are brand new and I could just do a full face and not talk about products and just do a full face of makeup that I already have and chit chat with you again. I have more retail stories, like more stories that are uh, more in depth i thought that i was going to say so many today and i just didn't get around to saying nearly half of them so um if you'd like a part two of this let me know i think i'd really like to film that but of course if you guys are just so not bothered then that's cool too i will keep the stories to myself and you won't be richer for knowing them <laughs> but yeah if you guys want to know i have definitely a few more that i wish i'd said today because there are so many good ones here and a couple that i can just scatter in just to kind of seamlessly transition between story to story um yeah so if you'd like a second part then let me know i definitely have enough stories to do another video of this thank you guys for watching i really really appreciate it all the products that i've used today will be in the description bar down below like they always are in all my videos all of my makeup items are always on the what's on my face bit in the description bar so if you're curious then yeah my shade of my foundation everything is always in the description bar down below just to let you know if you have enjoyed today's video do not forget to give me a old thumbs up and let me know in the comment section if you want to see a part two and then what you know what you thought about these products let me know have you got any of these have you been intrigued have i made you intrigued about these products let me know thank you guys once again i've said it like 30 times but thank you guys once again subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell because then you'll be notified of all the videos i upload i upload every single week and you want to want to miss out on more content from me no you would not no you would not so ring that bell hit subscribe join my family join the circle of trust join my warm hug and yeah take care stay safe and i'll see you in the next one Bye.